Hey, what's up? My name is Anthony, and today I'm doing a quick review on Willy Wombat for the Sega Saturn. It was released in 1997 by Hudson in Japan, and it's pretty overlooked. Uh, I don't really hear anything about it. It's an isometric platformer, which might be why. So I just want to talk about is it worth importing? What's wrong with it? Because there are some problems with it. It's not perfect by any means, but I actually really do enjoy it, despite all the negative stuff I'm about to say about it. So first of all, I'm going to get the bat out of the way, because there's a lot to say in this department. The music repeats a lot. The first few levels have the same song, and it gets super grating because it just repeats, I feel like, every 30 seconds or so. The camera sucks. It's nice being able to adjust where you are with the bumpers, but still, you find yourself getting behind walls with it and can get super annoying when you move it around. And it's like disorienting and stuff. So I really don't like that. The enemy designs isn't very good. Like, there's two enemy types that I've seen in the whole game. There's just this weird looking dummy and like a ghost and like variations of those. And the dummies themselves are super hard to kill. They're two shots, but they move really weird. The ghosts aren't too bad because they only take one. But it, there's just really not much to look at as far as that goes. Also, the level designs are super barren. There's not really much going on. I know they switched it up later in the game, but I usually only get about four levels in. And it's just the same thing, the same like brown on brown backgrounds. There's really not much to look at other than the enemies and maybe jumping down tubes and pipes and stuff. It would have been nice if they would have added a little bit more to that. Also, there's not much platforming in it considering it is a platformer game. I kind of get why they probably didn't put it in there because of the camera, but a little bit more would have been nice because it gets kind of boring just jumping over fire pits and jumping into tubes. So why do I like this game and why would I recommend it for a Saturn collector? Well first of all, despite the game looking kind of bland, the character design's pretty good for what it is and it looks like there's at least some effort put into it. Also having two attacks is pretty cool. Your short range one is kind of useless, but your long range one is really good, especially against the dummy enemies since they take so many hits to kill. I also really like the health system just because of how simple it is. You just get more orbs to increase your overall health total and then you get these little batteries that increase your health that you already have. Those are pretty much the only useful items in the game other than the keys that open the doors. There's also these little diamonds that go for a high score, but I'm not really sure what the point is of getting a high score or if it really matters. That, that part's in Japanese, unfortunately, so I can't really figure out what's going on with that. There's also some minor things that I like, like the over map where you step on the little green switches and you can see the entire level. It really helps sometimes with how the levels are set up. Also, there's a save system, which is nice, but you go back to the beginning of the level when you die. So, it doesn't really help unless you shut the game off and leave it for a while. So, the final and best part of this game for me is that it's fully voice acted in English, and most of the menus are in English. So, importing this game is super easy, and there's really no learning curve like there is with other games. Which is pretty weird for me, considering this game was only released in Japan and did not have any intention for a Western audience. But still, it's a nice little thing that makes it really enjoyable today for collectors to play. So those are my final thoughts on Willy Wombat. It's an enjoyable but flawed game that I would definitely recommend importing if you can. Let me know if you've played this game before. I don't think many people have, but if there's some out there, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. So as always, I really enjoy making these things. Peace out. Bye.